If I were to equate it to a piece of contemporary art, I think Hong Kong is definitely something on the very edgy and very experimental, something very wildly imaginative. My name is Uli. I am one of the directors of Periton Gallery in Hong Kong. I am from Beijing and I studied abroad in um, Switzerland and then in America. Around 2010, there were a lot of foreign galleries that were starting to open up in Hong Kong. I am lucky enough and I happened to catch that trend. So I started working in Hong Kong and Periton in 2013. When I first moved to Hong Kong, I remember Hong Kong as an extremely vibrant city. Its traffic was 24-7. It was full of exuberance of life. Right now, I live in Repose Bay and it's very quiet and it does feel like the other side of Hong Kong. When I was younger, I definitely preferred more of a city scene. But now, as I'm older, I enjoy having a piece of forest in front of my house. I am very hopeful towards the Great Bay Area art scene. This would be a humongous and extremely potential market for this region. M Plus could very easily be an icon. It could very easily be a go-to place. I think it would definitely strengthen the position of Hong Kong as an, as an art hub. The shows that I have seen were of international quality, that it is not only enticing a world view towards showing art, but also it closely connects to its heritage, to the local of, of where M Plus is. I'm very excited that it's almost on the cusp of finishing and opening, and it would definitely promote awareness towards the art. In Hong Kong, I think it's a city where if you seek out work to do, there's always opportunities. 